Hi there and welcome to the 12 Days of Christmas 2014 with Justine. Today is a bonus video and I hope you really enjoy it. Okay, we're going to start off by taking a five and a half by, it doesn't really matter, <laughs> inch, a uh, piece of white cardstock. Uh, we're going to use this to cut out um, using our Hillside Borders stitched um, lawn fawn die cut. I'm going to cut about an inch or so of the cardstock and I'm going to run that through my die machine. And I'm just using this so that I get a really nice mask. I'm just going to grab a couple of things here. I'm going to grab a piece of five by or five and a quarter by four inch uh, white cardstock. That's going to be my front of my card or part of the front of my card. I'm going to attach that die cut piece that I just cut out using some washi tape so that stays in place. You might want to use some removable adhesive on the top of that. I found that it kind of moved around a little bit during the video. And on this other side, I have a piece of masking paper. So I'm going to use this Cool Buddy stamp set from Create a Smile Stamp. I really love this set. It's just so adorable. I mean, these penguins and the snowman and the fox. I mean, the fox is adorable. I can't wait to use him on a, on a card. All right, so I'm just going to arrange my stamps on my card base and where approximately I'm going to end up stamping them. My original idea was to kind of use a bunch of these stamp sets and kind of line them up with a little Christmas choir. I had saw that done on a video earlier that kind of inspired this video and I decided in the end just to use these two little pumpkins I think that or pumpkins I always say pumpkins penguins I think I'm in fall mode still and I'm just going to line them up here um, for no specific reason really other than to pick them up on my stamp press exactly the way I want to stamp them so I have those picked up here I'm going to ink those using memento ink um, because I'm going to be using my Copic markers on them and that's uh, Copic friendly and I'm going to stamp those on my card and I'm going to stamp them to the left and about I don't know an inch and an inch and a quarter or so from the bottom and you'll see why when I get it all ready to go Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing, and I'm going to stamp those two penguins on my masking paper. And you want to use, you want to save as much of this as possible, so I'm going to do that in the corner. And then I'm going to cut out these penguins using my scissors. Okay, now that I'm finished cutting those out, I am going to uh, put them onto my actual card base. So this masking paper does have an adhesive backed. Um, sticky side so I just need to remove the blue piece and then layer them on top. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that die cut that I cut out earlier and now I'm going to line it up onto my card base corner to corner on the bottom. And that's going to help me make a mask and as I said you might want to attach the top using some removable adhesive. I did find it did move around a little bit. You can see that it did move around as I just did. I didn't even catch that when I was making the card but not a big deal. It doesn't do a lot of damage. I'm going to do a similar technique to the day two technique and I'm going to do this night sky background with dusty concord black soot and chipped sapphire blue and I'm going to use, uh, as you can see, I'm using a mini distress ink and a larger distress ink. There's not really any difference between the two of them except for the size and the type of brush you need to use with them and I'm going to create my night sky background. I'm going to create sort of a light to dark look starting with the dusty concord. All done creating my night sky and if you really want a more detailed um, look at how I did that you can go back to day two's video if you want that done in sort of a slower motion it's not a problem so now you can see I have a little bit of a speck that's on the white snow I'll take care of it and show you a couple of tricks on how I can fix that and I'm going to be able to reveal my penguins and um, show you how really awesome they look with that contrast of that night sky. Now as you can see my night sky isn't exactly perfect or anything like that. I'm gonna um but I like those little like light spots that are coming out. It reminds me of the snow reflection. Alright so I'm gonna just stick some of these stars on here. They're enamel stars they're close to my heart. I found the big ones a little too much for the card but I added just a few small ones and I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep them on there or not in the beginning but I kinda like the way that they look actually. And these are really versatile embellishments that you can really use for anything. Alright, so I wanted to make the card look a little more realistic, so I went in with my Univol gel pen and 
I started making a starry background using the just the white gel coming out. And I kind of wiggled it around a little bit in the places where I wanted it to be thick stars and just kind of dotted it where I wanted it to be thin stars and more random looking. I think by adding these white stars in the background, it made those other stars kind of really pop out. And I like the way that that turned out. Next thing I'm going to do is just remove my um, masking. And you can set these off to the side and put them in with your clear stamps. You can kind of stick them on the front of them or whatever, and you can reuse these masking um, objects over and over again. And that way you don't have to keep cutting them out if you want to make bulk cards or if you want to make another card using this penguin stamp set. It works out really perfectly. So I'm going to use some Cobics and I'm going to do a little bit of coloring and I'll put you in fast mode as I usually do. All right, getting started coloring these penguins, I'm using an N4 marker. And I used this because I was sure that the black was going to make it look too dark. really like the way that it looked, but I wanted to add a little bit of color, so I colored their um, oranges orange, or their noses orange. I added some N6 to just do a little bit of shading. I added my colorless blender to kind of fix some of the mistakes I made on there and attempt to fix them. Okay, so um, I finished coloring my penguins, and I wanted to get rid of or I wanted to pick a sentiment, my apologies, and I decided to pick this warm fuzzy stamp set using that same stamp set that we've been using this whole time. And I'm going to ink that up using Memento Black Ink, like I used with my penguins. Uh, no specific reason, I just think it's a really nice crisp black ink, and I like to use it for my sentiments. I'm going to do that in the bottom corner. Now it looks a little dull with the warm fuzzies, and I decided that I wanted to use something else. And with the Create a Smile stamp, I actually got a sample of her chipboard. And the chipboard is really, really awesome. First of all, it's so detailed and fine. What's really, really cool is you can actually bend it and play with it, and, and it doesn't break. It looks like wood, but it's bendable. I don't know. I really love them, actually. After using these, I'm definitely thinking of investing in a few of these. And they're a really great price, which is also really cool. I'm going to add this beautiful warm fuzzies um, to it because I think that beautiful just really makes the card. Uh, I, I think that without it, it would have been pretty boring or I would have had to add some sort of other embellishment like a, like a shimmer trim or, or something like that or, or add a few more of those stars. And so I really like the way that it turned out. And now I'm just going to um, adhere that to my uh, thing. I'm using Tombow Mono Liquid Adhesive. And I'm going to use a technique that I learned from, I think it was Debbie Hughes. Uh, I always found them using liquid glue. It's the best glue for these types of things, but it's a worse glue because usually you have excess on it and it kind of squirts out the side when you push it down. But she had shown us the technique that if you take a scrap piece of paper and, and kind of stick it on there first, then all of that sort of glue that goes off in the sides uh, will be gone, and then you can stick that to your card. And so I'm just going to hold that down there for a couple seconds, and then I just need to create my card base, and I'm finished with this, today's card. Okay, so make sure that you clean off your craft mat uh, before doing this, because you don't want to get any distress ink. I ended up just flipping mine over. And I'm just going to take a 5.5 by 4 and a quarter standard size top folding card and I'm going to use my bone folder to give that a nice sharp crease and I'm going to add this. And as you can see with the white background, it really brightens up the card and definitely does not make it look too dark. So I'm really happy with the way that that turned out. I'm not going to add any 3D foam tape to attach to this. I'm running low and uh, I don't think it really needs it. I think it's beautiful without. You can use that Tombow liquid adhesive again and stick that on as my card front. So we're all finished today's bonus card for the 12 days of Christmas 2014. I hope you enjoyed it and that you enjoyed this Create a Smile Cool Buddy stamp set as much as I have. And um, just going to go in a little bit and fix up some of my mistakes. Uh, so I actually use a colorless blender um, to go in on this little tummy there because I did have a couple of uh, extra marks. And I just took the white gel pen again and I went in actually and fixed up that, that one little area. And that was just under the penguin. I think I accidentally edited, edited, and edited, edited that out, and I apologize for that. So I hope you enjoyed again uh, the bonus, and make sure that you get in to those giveaways. I'm announcing the winners tomorrow. We have until midnight Friday, um, which is November 21st today, to enter day two, day seven, day twelve of the twelve days of Christmas. And I'll be having another bonus video this weekend to end off the series. Thanks so much for watching.